A special thanks to IXL for sponsoring today's video. It is 7.30 and my 12 year old is up and ready to start her homeschooling day. So you guys, in today's video, we're just gonna follow along my 12 year old and I'm gonna share with you her independent homeschooling routine. So after she completes her morning chores, the first subject of the day she does is math. Math is not quite her favorite subject, but she told me she loves going ahead and getting it done and getting it over with first thing in the morning. Typically during this time while my oldest is working on her math independently, I am getting ready for the day, I'm doing laundry, and my husband is getting my two younger kiddos ready for the day. So my oldest loves coming into the homeschool room while she has it to herself to be able to really focus all of her energy on math and to be able to get it done and get it done effectively. She also likes to get done any other independent subject she can get done before breakfast. She really loves utilizing her morning time times uh, to be focused and to uh, really get a head start of her day and I don't stop her however much work she wants to get done in the morning um, I just go ahead and allow her to go ahead and uh, follow her checklist for her to-do list for the day so this day she was actually able to get done with um, math and grammar in the morning time before we break for breakfast <music> Hey you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I am sharing with you my sixth graders independent homeschooling routine. Um, as you guys already seen, she already completed math and grammar. And right now she's back here helping me make breakfast for us all uh, this morning. We're keeping things really, really simple. And um, if you hear her two younger sisters, I have uh, two other kiddos who are in kindergarten and pre-K. They'll kind of be in this video as well. You kind of see them around um, as I'm filming. So right now, while Bree is actually helping me make breakfast, I'm gonna go ahead and grade all the assignments that she did so far. And we're just gonna go ahead and take you along our homeschooling day. So uh, yeah, here we go. Guess what, Bree? You got them all right. Yes. You did good on your first free algebra test. Good job, Bree. It has been so cold this winter, you guys. So every morning, me and my oldest daughter, we have been enjoying drinking tea. And this morning I made us some homemade orange tea with some honey, really just to keep us warm because downstairs is really, really chilly. So this morning, you guys, was our morning to do our Bible study. I modified our homeschooling schedule and we only do our Bible study now three days out of our homeschooling weeks. It really ensures that we have that special block of time for us to really be able to uh, dig into our Bible studies and really to uh, do it thoroughly and I don't really feel rushed so this is a Tuesday so our Bible days now are Mondays Tuesdays and Fridays so uh, right now Brielle is actually learning about the fruit of the tongue and we really have been enjoying this new Bible study as well in our homeschool so while I'm doing Bible study with my oldest as you guys can see my younger two back there they're playing with play-doh I actually already did their Bible Bible study earlier and um, I complete off our Bible and morning routine with my oldest. Okay, you guys, we have finished Bible, and right now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I forgot to go over Brielle's agenda with her, so she's going to check off all the things that she did, and we're just going to have like a brief check-in so she can work independently because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and start working with my younger two right now at this point because she's pretty much, she's pretty much off on her own, so um, all I think we have left to do is vocabulary. She's going to do IEW, and then she's going to work on IXL and do some Spanish in a little bit before lunchtime. So that's like our goal. So we're going to go ahead and look over her uh, checklist. I want to see what we got done so far and we're going to go from there. Okay, Bruce. So we, so check off what we did. So we already did math and you did fix it grammar. So yeah, so you just have your vocabulary cartoons, IEW, and then you can put IXL. You're going to be doing Spanish on your IXL and then history. Okay. Yay. <laughs> 
As a busy homeschooling mom of three, I love using IXL because it is an excellent online resource that provides me with additional educational support and personalized learning for all of my kids. IXL is a comprehensive K-12 online curriculum that meets each of my children where they are at in their learning. Even my youngest can confidently learn at her level through IXL. IXL provides great level instructions through many video tutorials and simple lessons that allows my children to confidently work independently, which allows me to do my one-on-one -on -one homeschooling lessons with all of my children uninterrupted. IXL keeps the fun and learning with a variety of engaging games that target specific skills in math and ELA concepts. My children love getting a sticker at the end of their school day. IXL also gives awards and certificates at the end of each unit to celebrate all of my children's accomplishments, which is a win-win. IXL not only provides specific grade level appropriate instructions, but also teaches to all of my children's learning styles. My oldest daughter is a visual learner, whereas my younger two daughters are auditory learners. IXL also provides extended support for all of their learners in English and in Spanish. I love that IXL provides me as a parent with automatic, easy to read reports where I'm able to get immediate feedback on the areas my children need more help on, which is an invaluable tool as a home educator. I live in a state that requires end of the year standardized testing. And because IXL reinforces the skills and concepts my children are learning with unlimited practice in each subject throughout the year, I do not need to be overly anxious or stressed in prepping for our end of the year exams. Again, I do not know how I will be able to manage my homeschool without IXL. Thanks again, IXL, for sponsoring this portion of today's video. One of our main subject focus areas this year has been vocabulary. I am actually preparing Brielle right now for the PSATs and her vocabulary is one area that I definitely wanna make sure we strengthen in preparation for her to take that test. Uh, Brielle is actually on a college path here in my homeschool. Right now she's in the sixth grade, but I definitely wanna ensure she's able to begin taking high school credits in the eighth grade and then begin doing dual enrollment in the 10th grade. So so because of that, she has to take uh, the PSATs a little bit earlier. I don't want her to become nervous about that test, so I definitely am preparing her in small ways by uh, ensuring she has this extra vocabulary practice. Brielle's last subject that she completes before lunch is writing. Writing is her absolute favorite subject in our homeschool. And I definitely know in the future, she definitely is gonna have some type of career in writing. She writes all day long. It doesn't matter how many subjects she writes in, she still finds pockets of time uh, to do her writing. So I definitely wanna ensure this is a skill she strengthens the most in our homeschool. So while for others, writing may be daunting, writing Writing is her thing, so I definitely ensure uh, that we do writing every single day for us in our homeschool. After lunch, my oldest went straight into history. She's actually learning all about different types of moss. So what I did was I found the really cool video for her to watch on moss. And in her history this week, she was challenged to draw a picture of a moss. So that's what she's doing as well. I really have been enjoying IXL too because they actually had an extension where Brielle was able to learn more about this week's lesson, which is Islam. So she was able to uh, use IXL excel this afternoon as well for her history lesson which was amazing okay Brie let's see your drawing okay let's see it oh your moss looks so good Thank good you. job so yes yeah, so Brie um decided what is the moss that you're going to write your research paper on again Brie? it's called the great moss the great moss um and in, in Iraq. So the yeah. Great Mosque in Iraq is the uh, one page research paper she's going to do. So right now Bree is just going to just start her outline. We gather some information for her and um, then after this she actually is all done for today. You excited yeah. Bree? Mm -hmm. You did good today. Yeah. <laughs> all right I'm gonna go ahead and let Bree get started.
after my sixth grader is done with all of her schoolwork, she gets into like some of her fun electives she likes to do in the afternoon. And one of her favorite passions she has right now is writing. Like I said before, she actually has a goal this semester to write a 200 page short story. So uh, she is really into um, drafting out all of her creative writings. And um, you guys, I really enjoy when she finishes a short story because then she reads it to me as well. So this is one of my daughter's passions and I love when she finishes homeschool, she can get into her passion projects. Okay, before uh, Brie finishes off her day, she typically does her um, independent reading at nighttime. So Brie, what book are you reading again? I'm reading Orange June. It's called The Secret Sin Spice, the last book of the series. Tell them how fast you read the first two. I read the first two in two weeks. Well, I think it was a week and a half. A week and a half she yeah. read the first two books. Because it was really good. <laughs> yeah, it was really good. Here is the first two books. So this is the first Honest June oh. book. And then here is the second one. So um, if you have any uh, middle school girls, these are good series. It's really, really cute. And Brie is really, really enjoying them. So she typically does her independent reading at night. Uh, yeah. But I just wanted to share with you guys what book she's reading. Because a lot of you guys want to know what book she's reading. So, uh, yeah. Okay, you guys, that wraps up my sixth graders independent homeschool routine. As you guys really were able to see in this video, she's really able to kind of like follow off her checklist and do whatever she needs to do. I do after each subject really follow up behind her to make sure she understands everything so she doesn't feel like she's just like left out to dry, but she's doing really, really well in our homeschool. It's about 2.30 and she's completed like all of her core subjects for today. We alternate between history and science and today you only seen her do um history so tomorrow will be a science day for her um so that's the only two things that we alternate but other than that um this is pretty much her flow i'm really really proud of her i'm proud of um just all the hard work that she puts in every day and she really really loves her flow um right now again she started doing some of her electives uh creative writing and she likes to do independent reading they do like free play uh sometimes they get into arts and crafts and um, she's learning how to sew in the evenings with my oldest daughter too as well she's been getting in the kitchen with me and cooking dinner so uh, our homeschool really is an extension of our home so uh, she's pretty much learning throughout the whole day and that's the blessing about homeschool that I really really have been enjoying throughout the years, especially as I'm seeing my oldest really flourish. So again, I want to thank IXL for sponsoring today's video. Um, be sure to go ahead and check inside of my description box. I will have all the information about IXL and if you would like to try it out in your homeschools. It definitely is beneficial for me and my homeschool for all of my kiddos. It allows everyone to have like their independence and I'm able to really dedicate one-on-one -on -one time with each and every one of my Learners. So as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.